Good morning students. Today's topic is applications of equilibrium constants. This is part 1. There are three important applications of equilibrium constants. First one, prediction of the extent of the reaction. Prediction of the extent of the reaction. Second one, predicting the direction of the reaction. And third one, calculation of equilibrium concentrations. Calculation of equilibrium concentrations. Today, we are discussing about the first point that is prediction of the extent of the reaction. So, we know Kc or Kp will be the equilibrium constants depending upon the concentration that is Kc and depending upon the partial pressure it is Kp. It is a stoichiometric equation and which will be equal to the concentration of the products by concentration of the reactants. Okay. So, magnitude of the K, magnitude of K helps us to determine the extent of the reaction extent of the reaction. So, from this stoichiometry equation, we can say that magnitude of K is directly proportional to the directly proportional to the concentration of the products. Concentration of products or inversely proportional to the concentration of the reactants. Okay, so larger the K value, what which means larger the value of K, which means greater will be the concentration of products. That means the reaction is almost goes to completion. Okay, so from this K value, we can find the extent of the reaction. Now, let us take an example which helps us to uh, understand more about this point. First example, 2 CO gas plus O2 gas gives 2 CO2 gas. Here the equilibrium concentration is 2.2 into 10 raised to 22 at 1000 Kelvin. Okay. So the value of Kc is very high. That means the forward reaction proceeds faster and it is almost goes to completion because we know Kc is equal to concentration of products by concentration of reactant. Okay. This is the equation and this value is very high. So, more CO2 is obtained and it, it almost goes to completion. So, Greater the value of K, which means the uh, reaction proceeds faster and forward reaction will be high and it, uh, more products are obtained. Okay. Take another example. N2 gas plus O2 gas. This reaction gives the products 2NO gas. Here, Kc is found to be 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 31 at 298 Kelvin. This reaction. In this reaction it is found that 10 raised to minus 31 which means Kc is very very small. Okay. So Kc will be equal to concentration of product by concentration of reactant. Since the value is very small less product is obtained. Okay, so forward reaction takes place very slowly. Okay, so the reaction proceeds rarely. Reaction proceeds rarely because K, the value of Kc is very, very small. At the small extent, the forward reaction takes place. So, in general, we can write like this in general. 
first point if kc is greater than 10 raised to 3 in such a case products predominates over reactants products predominates over reactants and second point if kc is less than 10 raised to minus 3 in such a case reactants predominates over products okay now next case if kc is between 10 raised to 3 and 10 raised to minus 3 okay okay if kc is between 10 raised to minus 3 smallest value to 10 raised to 3 highest value if kc is between 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to 3 what happens appreciable amount of appreciable concentration of reactants and products are obtained and products now let us draw a graph to represent this this is the arrow here least value so the value is negligible here the higher value that is extremely large value of k okay kc determines negligible and extremely large if it is negligible reaction proceeds rarely okay proceeds rarely if it is extremely large reaction goes to completion okay now between 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to 3 what happens appreciable concentration of reactants and products are obtained that is both reactants and products both reactants and products are present at equilibrium okay present at equilibrium okay it's the center point one so 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to 3 between these two both reactants and products present at equilibrium and if it is less than 10 raised to minus 3 and if it is negligible the reaction proceeds rarely and if it is greater than 10 raised to 3 if it is extremely large goes to completion okay this is the extent of reaction the graph used to represent extent of reaction depending upon kc value okay extent of reaction of kc value okay so using this we can easily find the predict the extent of a reaction okay